Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to bypass screen time on your iPod Touch. So if I just open up settings, and then I find screen time, you can see I have screen time on my iPod, and if I want to change the screen time password here, you can see I'm going to need to enter in the passcode, and I do not know the passcode, which is set inside of the screen time uh, area inside the settings. So if you're in the same situation as me, I'm going to show you the exact steps you need to take to bypass this. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first step is you're going to need access to a Windows computer. Now, if you don't have access to a Windows computer, you can either borrow one from a friend, borrow one from a family member, don't tell them you're going to bypass screen time. Uh, once you've done this once, you don't need to do this again, so just do it quickly. Uh, either use a school computer if you really need to, like, you know, do it in school, do it in the workplace, or use display computers inside of stores like, you know, Curry's or the Apple Store, stuff like that. If you uh, have a Mac, you want to set up on an Intel computer, bootcamp and if you have a uh, uh, apple silicon mac you just want to set up parallels just do that and then get onto windows now once you're on windows i'm going to show you the next steps you need to follow so let's get right into it on the computer you just want to head over to supervise.me there'll be a link in the description or you can always just type it inside the browser so does have any ads you see and so what we're going to do so we'll close out this pop-up as well you're going to see a supervised backup download so you just want to download the supervised backup right here if you're redirected to an ad that looks like this, close out of it, and then just click on the download one more time. And you just want to make sure this backup downloads. Now, once this backup downloads, you're going to scroll to the bottom and you just want to download the iBackup bot uh, app and the iTunes app. So what we're going to do is we'll just click on the iBackup bot. Again, if you're redirected to an ad, close out the ad. You just want to make sure that you're redirected to the uh, official iBackup bot page. And don't uh, use this download. Instead, so you're going to scroll down here and you see iBackup bot for Windows. Click it to download now. Click on this, download iBackup bot, and then set it up. And then we'll go back here. And you're going to see iTunes. Just click on this. Again, any ads, just close out those redirects. Make sure you're redirected to the official website. So you can see here the iTunes site. And so what you're going to do when you're on this page, you don't click on get it from Microsoft. Instead, you scroll down, looking for other versions, Windows. And then click this one, download iTunes for Windows Now 64-bit. Download iTunes, and then set it up. Now, once you've done everything, what you're going to do is you just want to open up the files application and you're going to navigate to downloads and you just want to find this supervised uh, 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 zip folder just click on this one and then you're going to see here extract tool click on the extract tool and then click on extract and now this backup will extract onto your computer it may take a couple of seconds to extract and once that's done you're going to see this folder and now we're good to go so the next step is we're going to open up the iBackup bot app like so and you may receive some error messages uh, if you open up this app. So just click on no for any pop-ups you see. If there's a yes or no option. And if you see uh, an okay option, just click on okay. It's just again, any errors, just dismiss them. Now, once you have no errors, what you're going to do, so just click on no for this one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to plug our iPod Touch to the computer. Just plug it in like so. And you're going to see device detected. Now, you may receive an error uh, if you have a yes or no after you plug in the iPod Touch. That's because on the iPod, you just need to go to the uh, home screen, unlock it, and there'll be a trust message. Just tap on trust, enter in the passcode for your iPod Touch, and then the connection to the computer should now be established. So you're going to see your devices, and you're going to see that iPod Touch right here. You can see this is this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on open backup, and then we're going to navigate to downloads, and you can see the supervised folder. Click on this, then click on the supervised folder one more time. Then you can see this folder here. Click on this folder. And then click on the select folder. Now you're going to see inside the iBackup bot we have the add supervision backup. So we're going to click on the plus, system files, search, and then config. Click on enter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on, uh, we're going to click on configuration profiles, right click it, restore selected items to device. You're going to see passcode. So the password is 1111. So 1111. And you're going to click on OK. And then the backup should restore. Now, if you get restore error, this may happen for you, or you need to turn off Find My Apple Touch or Find My iPhone. Uh, it really depends what software version you're on for the naming scheme. So you just want to uh, just go into the uh, settings app. There should be your name at the top. Click on your name or tap on it, and then there should be the Find My. Just turn that off, then try again, and then everything should be good to go. So on the Apple Touch, it's going to restart. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to bring you back to the setup screen. So what I'm going to do is uh, you don't need access to the computer anymore. Once you see restore complete, you can unplug your iPod just so you know. So computer's not needed anymore. So what I'm going to do now 
is I'm going to move to my Apple Touch and I'm going to show you the next steps you need to follow to get everything finished. Once the backup has restored, you're going to see this page. You just want to click the home button or just swipe up. You're going to see restore completed. Just click on continue and just give it a little bit. Then click on continue for data and privacy. And then apps and data, what you're going to do is you just want to make sure you tap on don't transfer apps and data. On the newer iOS firmwares, there is a slightly different menu. There should be some option at the bottom, which has customized settings. Tap on the customized settings, then tap on don't transfer apps and data. Then you're going to see this one, uh, create a passcode. If you don't have a passcode, I'm going to set don't use passcode. Now you want to navigate until this page right here, screen time. So if you tap on continue, screen time is still going to be on your iPod touch, which means you're going to have the restrictions. However, if you tap on set up later in settings, you tap on this one what this will do is it will turn off screen time off of your ipod touch and so you just want to go to the home screen welcome to ipod and then you want to tap on get started and now we are brought to the home screen so what we're going to do is we're going to open up settings and we're just going to scroll down and first thing you'll notice is you should see this message here your uh, this ipod is supervised and managed by Sons tech so just keep that in mind and so all we're going to do is we, if we tap into screen time you can see the screen time has now been turned off successfully how cool is that? Now this may be patched in the future, so I'll show you a, 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 a different method. So the alternative method, let's say you restored the backup and the screen time option didn't show up, uh, you know, inside the setup app, or if you went to settings, screen time was still turned on. You just want to go into Safari again, and you just want to go back to supervise.me, uh, but this time you want to go to it on the iPod itself. And you just want to scroll down to the very bottom here until you see screen time slash restrictions bypass, tap on this one. If you're redirected to an ad, just close out the redirect. So you see this critical threat, this is an ad, just so you know. Um, so we'll just tap on screen time one more time. And then you see this, you just want to tap on allow on this message, close. And then you just want to go to settings. And then you're going to see here, profile downloaded. Tap on this one. <laughs> Parents worst nightmare. Install, install. Uh, I didn't press install there. Install, install, and then done. And so what you're going to see is when I go to screen time, so if I just actually go to screen time, you're going to see screen time has been restricted, right? And so what this means is now screen time will be automatically turned off. Like if there was a passcode, the passcode would be removed automatically by doing this. And so all you're going to do is you're going to go to general and you can go to the VPN device management configuration profile. And then you want to remove this profile. And so the final step is you just want to set your own passcode here. So turn on screen time, continue, and then just set it up with your own passcode. If you're trying to lock your parents out of the screen time menu, you just want to tap on, this is my child's iPod touch, even though it's yours. You want to set a fake downtime. Uh, keep in mind, because you know the passcode, you can always override the downtime. So we'll just set the downtime, uh, not now for app limits, and just make sure you set a passcode that you remember. Of course, you can always reverse it in the future. So the final thing you need to know is once you've done this, you're going to have a trace, right? The trace is this at the very top. This iPod is supervised and managed by Saunas Tech. So in order to remove this, if you're wondering, all we need to do is on the computer, go into Safari, uh, not Safari, the web browser, and you just want to download the no supervised backup and you want to restore that backup uh, onto your iPod Touch. You follow the same steps that I did to restore the supervised backup instead of the my backup bot, but instead download the no supervised backup and then you'll be good to go. So that's everything you need to know. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.